Twitter tweeted that they're going to move away from using terminology like master-slave or whitelist blacklist to more friendly terms like leader follower or allow list deny list and some of the other ones I can't remember because they were just that stupid and I'm going to very very briefly explain why these words aren't a problem unless you are the problem if I say slave flash when referring to a flash in photography that is triggered by a flash on a camera or a camera signal or whatever I'm not talking about American slavery prior to the 1850-whatever, the Gettysburg Address. I don't remember all the details of American history. I'm an ignorant American. What do you want me to do? They're not talking about actual human slavery. Slave is not just a thing that happened to people. It is also a concept, an abstract concept. Um, for example, you, uh, you don't you owned slaves, but if I say that I am the owner of a home um, or that I own something, I'm not invoking slavery. Owning is an abstract concept, and just because ownership of people is a thing that happened doesn't mean that ownership always has to do with that bad thing that happened. It is a concept. So, the reason that it is a problem only for people who are the problem and should be purged from your organization or wherever they show up is that these people see race, gender, other factors, other categorizations of humans. They see them everywhere. They choose to see them everywhere. It is their choice to see those things they are making up fictions based on this weird internal narrative. They are reading a book inside of their head and projecting that book as if it is what's actually happening around them. So, these people are the problem. The words are not the problem. The language is not the problem. Now, Merriam-Webster is actually about to literally redefine racism to kowtow to these crazy, crazy far-left people that see race hatred everywhere, that where you're not allowed to be neutral if you say nothing or if you stay out of fights, you are supporting not their side, which really is, ironically, slavery. Um, slavery is where somebody uses threats or intimidation to make you enact labor on their behalf. Um, now, it, it's arguable that that's not the same thing as like slavery of humans in the past, but my argument is that if you bully someone into doing something for you, while it's not slavery in the same exact way as American slavery in the history of the world, or, you know, while it's not identical, it's the same basic concept. It is the same thing. If you say, you dig that ditch, or I'm going to shoot you, or I'm going to whip you, how is it any different than if you don't put Black Lives Matter or a resist fist in your window, or you know, if, if you don't say something, then I will, oh, I will send the mob after you, I will get your house burned down, get, you, get your job pulled. It's a threat of force or intimidation used to force someone to perform labor on your behalf. That's slavery. But when I say slave flash, I'm just talking about a flash that's triggered by another flash. And yeah, you could call it trigger flash, but then it starts getting more confusing. Because then it's like, well, well, what, well what's doing the triggering? Well, the master controller is doing the triggering, and the slave flash follows what the master tells it to. It's not a human thing. We're talking about objects. Look, I, ha I have these bicycles over here, okay? I have these bikes, right? I have these bikes. If I'm talking about these bikes, if I say anything like I'm the owner of the bike or um, that bike is on a, a blacklist uh, for parts manufacturers or something, I'm talking about actual non-living, non-human objects. Context is everything. 
the people who have a problem with these words think that context doesn't matter. But by simply discussing these words, they are guilty of the same thing under their own rules. This is an untenable situation and must be avoided. So there you go. Have a good one.